It's not the rats you see. It's the rats that see you. It's pretty good now. That one. That one I have no idea I'm gonna do that one. Uh, so we should pass travel here. Does it become daytime? Oh. Yeah. And hand that one in. Go up. Story one. Now boarding Epsilon's only on platform three, London Hatchery and conditioning. Let me sleep. Epsilon's only on platform. I feel oddly guilty for not buying a ticket. To sleep, perchance to dream. <laughs> We're not playing it yet, so you're all right. And don't forget, there will be cake and prizes for all winners.
Please step away immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area. It is now time for a mandatory employee rest. A butcher. Where did they go? I used to run a hundred bases. What can I do for you today? Arthur Hastings! You are an intrepid young man. You've done me a solid. Mm -hmm. They don't make them like you anymore. Well, we suppose they don't make them at all anymore. <laughs> Here. The least I can do is give you what I gave poor Edmund. Look, my job has been getting complicated. I could certainly use an apprentice. Do you like a permanent position? Edmund's a good lad, but he's always been a bit limited. And my work has become so challenging of late. Mm -hmm. I've had to go to extraordinary measures to keep this town fed. We are in an extraordinary situation, aren't we? You were so helpful in bringing me that package. Now, we need to process it. You want me to help process that package? I'm not proposing you hurt anyone, you understand? Just ignore a silly old taboo. Just go on through that door if you're willing to help. I can't believe I'm even considering this. Maybe I should just walk out and report him to the police. People do have to eat, though. It's a very kind offer. I think I just have so much on my plate these days. I think I'll just go. Well, if you ever need V-meat, you can count on me. I wonder what I missed. I wonder if I'll ever know. Damn it. Now I'm curious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Time for the main story then. Boom, boom. That's the next one we get, I guess. Of ten, twenty points needed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we need to rescue somebody and. get something for her. been in Hayworth lab since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years ago. Mm. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight <laughs> hiccup in the disposition of the lab, and it is currently in isolation. No one in, no one out. Please come back later. Uh, but but uh, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? Have you got your press pass? I, uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Oak Corral. See if she's got a spare press pass. Okay. 
Start spreading the news. <laughs> Pace yourself, Arthur. For the next minute. Well, it doesn't kill you. I did think I used to run a hundred bases. Wonder what. Uh, hmm. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. <sighs> Maybe I should sit down for a bit. I should have fast traveled, I didn't think it was going to be this far off. Fast travel back then. Shit! You will take your joy immediately. My old office. That was fun, being a reporter. Receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? She'll come back with the coffee. We just have to praise you. A lady can't go without coffee these days. It's unthinkable. Uh, excuse me, the, the door upstairs is locked. Not now! So I'm just running just to get a wedding. I have a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. If I don't get some coffee soon, I'm going to shoot somebody. I can't stand tea. I must have coffee. Coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. See if I can get Mrs. Onofant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. Arthur, Arthur H. 
Hastings. Old place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. Hmm. That were all true. Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Rotten apples, yeah. Could be something useful now and then. Dusk isn't even up here. should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back.
Blood picking the cabinet. Okay. Oh, this is a different option to get up there. Let's call up like uh, options okay uh, where do we need to go now though Gemma Olsen's house. Do I need to go in over there? Yeah, fast travel a bit then. Good old one. How'd they get a cow down there? I can't keep doing this. You exist, but you can never be too careful. You take your joy. So much running around, man. Yes. That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. <laughs> I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. By all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Oh, what on earth? Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. <laughs>
Yam. She recover in a few days. Cricket back. Why well, I took that one, but okay. No, I will not keep my voice down. I am a law-abiding citizen. Getting stuff first. Sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? About what? It. I'm not sure I actually want to, come to think of it. What else is it to... Oh, they always die. Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. But the constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires have to be invited in.
That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Someone smells naughty. Who are you? I if I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Thought you were invisible, did you? Uh. Heck do I have now? No, that's so heavy. You? with you electrocutions toxic fog I read it top to bottom, then right to left. If I finished Gemma's investigations, Mrs. Oliphant would have to give me back my old job, and then I'd have a press pass. Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. Recipes, huh? Uh, let's see, we got five making cards. Make them as we get them anyway. We need to do it there. I don't know. Here. Pointy stick. Something going on at the, at the lab, huh? Well, I guess right. I better go see what's going no on on this multi regulation guy. unit. Maybe the answer's there.
You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Get rid of some stuff. the heck? Oh, all the way over there. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Get the travel a little bit. Ah, fond memories cowering from the bombs with Mum, Dad, and Percy. You're going. This is a municipal work site, and you're not a municipal worker, are you? Huh? So clear off. I need a boiler suit. You will take your choice.
if you're inside, be sure to don't find a telly out. You can take your joy, kitty. Pace yourself, Arthur. This thing is quick. I'm going to tell you to do something, but if I don't say Simon, you don't do it. If I do say Simon says, we should dump a lot of stuff that I have on me. Some small on your face. You can take your joy immediately. Simon says, touch your feet. Simon says, never mind. Simon says, Simon says. You will take your joy immediately. Oh. Central sent me to help out. Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central. Maybe. I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, <laughs> you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad. Oh, this seems fairly obvious. Why don't you just turn that? Don't! Never heard it do that before. Oh, dear. I, uh, there's a tool I need. I'll, I'll just go get it. What did he do to it? Has anybody got a pipe wrench? <laughs> Ow. I should really have paid more attention when Dad was banging on the plumbing. I hope they're not dead. On the other hand, it looks like I can get down now. Go down the hatch.
Davises, put your hands on your hips. Davises, put your head on your knees. Davises, put your head on your hands. Put your hands on your hips. <laughs> Simon says, jump. No. I didn't say Simon says. See you there. Listen carefully. I see Simon says he must have to be very careful. Turn the juice back on. And yet another note about bad joy. She was really onto something, wasn't she? Danger, watch out. How do I cross that platform without getting electrocuted? Now make sure there isn't a short circuit before. <laughs> fucking apprentices. I never fucking listen. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Give me money. Accidentally poisoned the muffins. Even on joy, people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the joy.
wanted to drive one of those things. They sort of look like tea kettles, don't they? How have I not noticed that? Check and see. drive the entire town crazy. Bad joy, man. They're adjusting the formula. New materials. Well, that sounds encouraging. And when people sound encouraging in Wellington Wells, something terrible is usually happening. Not supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board. Rather unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. the slowest roller coaster I've ever been on. Make way! Make way for Captain Toad of Total! Shit! How do I open it? 
drink, can't stay. Interesting, right? So there's an exit door here, I think, but I'm gonna have to turn on some power switches. Great scene. Flashback time. Percy, what are you doing? I'm swimming. Oh, good Christ. Where are your clothes? Percy, where are your clothes? those jets without getting poached like an egg. Can I turn them off? I'd love to stay here, but I can't. Where's the door? Mm -hmm. For heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? Is 
so electricity damages Tubalay. I think if I redirect the Motilene to power the grid... Direct the Motilene to power the grid. Hmm. Where the heck do we do that then? Door. I sort of think this place is about to explode. What the heck was that sound? One more. But there's something I'm supposed to do here, but... For heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? I think if I redirect the Motilene to power the grid... Direct the Motilene to power the grid. Oh, for heaven's sake, doesn't anything work around here? Uh -huh. oh. It's this one. I 
I think if I redirect the Motiline to power the grid... That's another one. Tea kettle. gaming games uh, let's see what we should get that one get that other one uh, okay let's see if we can deal with this guy Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realize it was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How uh, well are you <laughs> holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there. Tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh. Look, it's time for my tea break. Ta-ra! 
Okay. This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. Okay. Down we go. about bad patches and what I have to do. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Damn it. That he didn't say. That he has got printed out. One of these days, I really ought to explore those caves. Ok, 
she is uh, awake at night. Jeb has been taken away. I saw two doctors shove her into a pop. Oh my goodness. Why? She was digging into the tunnels. That didn't come out right. I, I, I followed up. The whole underground is sort of falling apart. Oh my. That's why you sent her, wasn't it? Not to write about the tunnel rats. I certainly couldn't print a story like that, could I? The joy's gone bad, and Dr. Verloc knows. But he's telling them not to worry. He's got some sort of permanent solution. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Well, that's sort of exactly what I thought. If I had a press pass, I could get into Hayworth Labs. And my old adulator, if you still got it. After what happened to Gemma? Dr. Verloc. He's sort of his own law there. I have some personal business there. If I'm not here when you get back, if you found something out, See if you can't publish it. Those numpties out there know how to put the ink on the page, but the only articles they ever read are their own. You're getting out? How? Oh, I wouldn't even know how to get out. But you never know when I might stop printing lies. And they won't like that. Great. I've got all my press stuff back. That ought to be handy. You can show up all sorts of places regular people shouldn't go. We travel again. What interesting things you smell when you barely see. Well, you've made your bed, Arthur, haven't you? I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, you certainly laid out a... Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger all. I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Let's come back tomorrow. You're not <laughs> saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. <laughs> Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. 
I must ask you not to stray from the path because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Hmm. Well, the workers here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Poison? Worth a lot. Concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Do not turn down the heat on the ruminating reaction until you've noted the temperature curve. I need to determine the explosive threshold temperature. Never mind. Just grab the temperature curve and pop it that in the new bag. sturdy. Oh, I, and I want it. samples of any residue on the explosive theory. I've always liked you, actually. Mm 
not personal. Nothing person, I'm just gonna whack you. Safety. It's better this way. Hmm. Felix, nothing up. I wonder which one of these controls the steam. Or do they both? I feel so chivalrous turning off that dangerous steam. If that is indeed what I did. Steam. Maybe I can sneak past these jets without a fuss. Guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drive the subject insane. <laughs> oh lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. Feel rather brilliant right now.
Remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally? And it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Maybe if I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Hmm. in on the scheme. No. Wait. She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Velox's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. something away before something starts chasing you. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. Right. 
See me with him. Be words, for the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger. Looking for stuff, I see the key card reader, but What have we come to? Take a minute. Oh, please don't struggle. Yeah, don't struggle. This 
flung her to beat. Phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? Is that an original? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> God. Sergeant! Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory <laughs> metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted. This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Well, he's just the sort who would. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can find here then. A lockpick for a lockpick, huh? This ridiculous cod liver oil had better be down here, or I shall be cross. Memory time? Sell. Listen, Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. <laughs> And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. <laughs> okay. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Uh, 
Big new caretaker. <laughs> he has like test subjects, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, hello. Hmm. Somebody wins a little bonkers in that one. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. Mm, we have nothing we need to make. go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Well, that was a way out. the chemicals. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. I don't know I'm causing in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Pushed, or were they flushed? Pretty flushed, huh? Thrown in. Ah, a hatch. Lovely. I've not seen so many hatches in my entire life. Find out first. Dump some stuff off very quick.
Du -du -du -du. I went too far. I want you to have this. We are not accustomed to such generosity. Oh, I forgot about that hatch. <gasps> After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? Well, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed. Ooh, Ooh damn. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Oh. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. 